Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Michael. In this How To, I will discuss Oracle, Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management, and Rolling Forecasts. First, we'll talk about what is Rolling Forecast. Then we'll talk about using Oracle Enterprise Performance Management and Rolling Forecasts. We'll do a quick demonstration, then we'll talk about things to remember. Quick definition of Rolling Forecasts. A Rolling Forecast is one where the assumptions of the original projection are revisited and a new projection based on those new assumptions is produced. In practice we often see clients do rolling forecasts for a fixed set of months typically 12 or 18 months. Oracle Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management allows for implementation of rolling forecasts within the planning and S-based tools. The diagram you see below is an example of reforecasting monthly and then backfilling actuals into the closed months. So how do we do this in Oracle Enterprise Performance Management? The fundamental object used to facilitate rolling forecasts in the tool are what are called substitution variables. These are values based on dynamically generated information. For instance, current month, current year, current plan. These kinds of variables are things that can be modified in one place and then referenced in many places throughout the application. This is very important when managing a rolling forecast. In the recently released Oracle Enterprise Performance Management 11.1.2.2, Hyperion Planning allows a rolling forecast setup screen while creating web forms. This basically dyna uh, dynamically generates substitution variables and then they can be managed on the planning web. The screenshot below shows where we can use the web form setup area to enable rolling forecasts. So let's jump out and do a quick demo of the new rolling forecast feature in Oracle Hyperion EPM 11.1.2.2. So here I'm in workspace and in the form and ad hoc grid management area. This is the area where I'm going to build and maintain web forms for use in my rolling forecast process. I have a form here called Revenue and Expense RF. I'm going to click Edit and then the Layout tab. Within the Layout tab you see the familiar setup of a web form. There's the point of view which are your fixed points, the page dimension which is your drop down dimensions, then of course rows and columns. In order to use the new feature for rolling forecasts, we can right click the area either around columns or A. And then I'm going to just click rolling forecast setup. Here I can enter in parameters for my rolling forecast, such as start year. So I'm just going to type in fiscal year 12. Alternatively I could use the member selection tool but if you know what you want to enter in you can simply type it in. Start period I'm going to say the start period is April and then we want this rolling forecast to be for 12 months. 
Finally, the prefix field is reserved for your substitution variables, as we discussed earlier. So when we click the Generate button, it's going to auto-generate a number of substitution variables for us. This prefix will be included. So let's just call it RF. Then we can click Generate. Now you'll notice on the column, we have our substitution variables for both year and period defined for all 12 months. As a cleanup item, I'm just going to right click on column A and delete it. Now I'm going to save my form and I can double click on it in the left, left pane to go in and see what it looks like. Now you see those variables have been changed to reflect the months for which the variables are defined. As an administrator, I can go in and manage these variables on the web. As you can see, these are all the variables we just created in that web form. They're now valid and usable across the entire application and can be changed in one place and then reflected in many others. So some things to remember when moving to rolling forecasts. At a high level, get buy-in from finance, operations, and IT. Agree on data definitions and of course the level of detail to be forecast. And then also, try to start with small initiatives or applications and build rolling forecasts into them. Then, deploy the rolling forecast enterprise-wide. This is how you use Oracle Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management and Rolling Forecasts. Thank you for joining, and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.